Hello everyone. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. I'd like to talk to you today about an upcoming City of Fort Worth project. My name is Clint Hoover and I'm an engineering manager in the Transportation and Public Works Transportation Management Division. I work with Ms. Shweto Rao, who is on the Transportation and Public Works Capital Delivery Team and will be the construction manager for the upcoming North Ridgely Street Light Project. This presentation was originally meant to be given at an in-person community meeting with all impacted residents and other citizens who reside in North Ridgely. However, due to the city's proactive response to the current COVID-19 coronavirus outbreak, that meeting has been canceled and this presentation has been recorded in lieu of the actual meeting. Mrs. Rouse's contact information is listed here as well if you have any questions, concerns, or comments. The design engineering firm for this project is Baird Hampton and Brown Associates. Here's the agenda of what I hope to cover in this brief presentation. I'll provide you with a recap of our public meeting held back on October the 16th, 2019 at R.D. Evans Community Center, discuss the project background and phasing, and share the anticipated project schedule for construction. The first public meeting for this project was held in October 2019 at R.D. Evans Community Center. The city mailed out 2,990 meeting invitations, had 39 residents in attendance, and received back 12 comment cards. In general, the comment cards received back requested that the city not place new street lights at mid-block locations, request for decorative lighting and power around Bernie Park, and request to not have additional lighting placed at the new neighborhood sign being placed at Rosemont and Curzon. The purpose for the project is to provide basic lighting at intersections that currently aren't illuminated and to replace and upgrade existing lighting to basic LED fixtures. This project is funded by the 2018 bond program. The North Ridgely Neighborhood Street Lights Project is located in the City of Fort Worth Council District 3. The project limits for North Ridgely Neighborhood Street Lights are Interstate 30 to the north, Bryant Urban to the east, Camp Bowie to the south, and Lackland to the west. The project will improve nighttime visibility and street light system reliability. This project will be completed in two phases. Phase one of the project includes converting 120 lights to basic LED fixtures shown here as red dots, and phase two of the project includes the installation of six new basic LED lights also shown here as blue and green dots. Shown on this screen is phase one of the North Ridgely Neighborhood Street Lights Project. The red dots show the location of existing street lights that are to be converted to basic LED lighting. To maintain the look of the area, the city will not remove trees as these are existing street light locations. Some trees may need to be trimmed for the lights to be converted, but trimming will be kept to a minimum. Phase one work shown previously as red dots includes replacing existing street lights with new LED street lights. The city plans to use existing wiring that is already overhead as much as possible. Some wiring may need to be replaced, but that depends on wire condition when the lights are being changed out. After new LED lights are ordered, the anticipated schedule to change all of the existing lights to LED is approximately two months. This slide shows examples of what an existing street light looks like at the bottom and what a new basic LED street light looks like at the top. Phase two work, shown here as blue and green dots, includes installing new street lights. After the new poles are ordered, the anticipated schedule to install the new foundations and poles is approximately three months. Phase two takes longer than phase one because new street light poles have to be ordered and delivered along with installing new foundations. Phase two work shown previously as blue and green dots includes installing new street lights at intersections where they don't currently exist. The city plans to install underground wiring in these new pole locations as well. After new poles are ordered, the anticipated schedule to install the new lights is approximately three months since there is a longer lead time to order and receive new poles. This slide shows an example of what a new street light looks like. From the public meeting back in October 2019, residents requested new powder-coated black poles. This project will have new powder-coated black poles where new lights were anticipated at intersections. At the public meeting in October 2019, 
there was a request for decorative lighting and power at Burney Park for use by the neighborhood. Unfortunately, due to high materials and construction cost of decorative lighting, the city is unable to install decorative lighting around the park with this project. The scope of the North Ridgely Neighborhood Street Lights project is to provide basic lighting upgrades and installation of safety lighting at intersections where it does not currently exist. For decorative lighting to be installed by the Neighborhood Association, though, the City of Fort Worth Parks Department has an adopt-a-park agreement process that describes how decorative lighting and associated equipment for power can be purchased and installed by the Neighborhood Association. Coordination with the Parks Department is recommended for specific questions about requirements, approvals, and permits. Currently, the North Ridgely Neighborhood Street Lights Project is in the final design stage that incorporates resident feedback from the October 2019 public meeting. Pending the current COVID-19 coronavirus situation resolution, the North Ridgely Neighborhood Street Lights Project is expected to begin construction starting in summer 2020 and lasting five months. Phase one will take two months and phase two will take three months. This slide shares information about the new City of Fort Worth My Fort Worth app. The new My Fort Worth app is now available. After downloading the app, users can provide a brief description, photos, and use a map-based location feature to submit issues like graffiti, potholes, or high grass. Once submitted, the request will go directly to the appropriate city work team for a quick response. The user can view the status of the request in the app and receive a notification when the work is complete. Service requests for code compliance, human resources, park and recreation, and transportation and public works are all currently available on the app. My Fort Worth also saves time and money by automating many employee tasks. It saves gas and eliminates travel by enabling city staff to instantly upload reports and photo documentation from the work site. Employees can initiate work orders from their office or in the field. The app interfaces with many existing workflow systems, making responses to residents more efficient and accurate. Download the My Fort Worth app in the Apple App Store or on Google Play. I would like to finish this presentation by presenting some frequently asked questions regarding this project and providing answers. Why are streetlights being added to intersections? Streetlights are being added to intersections where no streetlights exist in an effort to bring existing neighborhoods up to City of Fort Worth standards to create a clean, attractive city as well as enhance safety for the general public in the neighborhood. Where will the streetlights be added? Streetlights will be added in the public right-of-way and located at intersections without existing streetlights. Locations will be determined to provide the least amount of impact to existing property and landscaping. Will trees be impacted? New streetlights at intersections will utilize underground wiring. The underground wiring will be routed to avoid damage to trees. The underground wiring will be installed with limited damage to existing grass as it will be installed without the need for an open trench. Will there be traffic impacts? No traffic impact is expected as the existing streets will remain open for public use. This concludes my presentation. Thank you very much for taking time to listen and watch this brief presentation. It's unfortunate that we weren't able to meet in person due to public health concerns. If you would like to discuss any comments or questions that you may have, please feel free to reach out to Mrs. Shweta Rao with her information provided here. Thank you once again.